Now, I don't think you really need to do any of this with this microphone in particular, but if you want it to get a sounding as good as you possibly can, let me walk you through those steps in real time. So when it comes to noise suppression, you could use something like NVIDIA Broadcast if you've got an NVIDIA card, or you can hop right into OBS here and use the baked in feature in here. So I'll talk about noise suppression here. I've chosen RN Noise. It's a bit of better quality. It uses a bit more CPU, but use whichever one sounds best or uses the least amount of resources, whichever is important to you. Do bear in mind though, that whenever you use noise suppression, it is going to take some of the frequencies out of your voice in the mic signal so you might need to add some of this back in with eq later which i'll touch on in a second the next thing that i added in was that noise gate the reason we want this is because certain things we don't want being picked up by the microphone if you look at the mic signal right now when i stop talking you'll see it bouncing very low as it's very quietly picking up the hums of my fans so by turning this on, it means that those very, very low noises are not being picked up. So to set this one, what you want to do is you just want to talk and see where that mic signal is bouncing up to. Mine's bouncing up in around that 15 to 20 range. So if you go into the settings here, click on the noise gate, you want to set the open threshold loosely just a bit below that, just so it's catching all of your quiet speech. And then the close threshold, you want to put even lower than that so it doesn't catch you trailing off. You can leave these sliders where they are, but you can look into this if you want to fine tune it a bit 